Hey guys, thanks for being here. Today we're gonna try and shoot through this old tire that I found on the side of the road. I've got three guns with me. We're gonna try and see how well each one can do at shooting through the tire. Today we're just gonna start off with this small single stack subcompact pistol. It's called the M&P Shield and it's chambered in nine millimeter. And we're just gonna be shooting a nine millimeter 115 grain FMJ round out of it. Next we're gonna shoot the M&P 1522. It's a AR-15 style rifle that looks and functions just like an AR, but it shoots 22 caliber. We're going to be shooting first the 36 grain high velocity hollow point, and then just a solid 40 grain round coming out about 1240 feet per second. So we'll see how those two do. Last but not least, we're going to finish up with this down defense M4 V11. First, we're going to shoot a 223 55 grain FMJ round out of it. And then we're going to shoot a 5.56 62 grain green tip. Let's have some fun and see what happens. Okay, round one with the M&P shield. Let's see what happens. Let's check it out. Well, I forgot to turn on the GoPro that was actually recording the tire when I shot, but it wasn't really that exciting, so I'll just show you the aftermath. Let me turn this tire around. So you probably can't really see, but there's a tiny hole right here next to my thumb, and there's a tiny one. Where, where'd it go? There's a tiny one right there, next to my finger. So I went completely through the tire, through the front side, all the way through, and then out this back side. You can see both of these holes here. And I made the mistake of trying to keep the tire from falling, and I grabbed it, but since there's little metal pieces coming out from where the bullet came from, it actually cut my finger trying to grab the tire and keep it from falling over because I accidentally grabbed that part. I honestly wasn't that sure that the 9mm was just going to go flying through both sides of this tire that easily. Now granted I did shoot it from like 5 yards away, but this is like a, still a really solid tire. I mean, it's, you can't push it through at all, I mean it's still tough. So the fact that it got through one side, still had enough velocity to go all the way through and out the back like nothing. I mean. It's pretty impressive. All right guys, here goes the first shot with the M&P 1522. First we're shooting that 36 grain hollow point. Um, we're about three times the distance that we were for the nine millimeter, so let's see what happens. Okay guys, what's weird is that this one made a much larger entry hole, because remember this was the first nine millimeter, this was the second nine millimeter, or vice versa, I don't remember. But these were both 9mm. And the 22 hit right here in the middle, and it made like a perfectly round circle. And it's a smaller bullet, but the entry hole actually looks bigger. But what's interesting is this one didn't make it all the way out the back. Okay, these are two holes on the back from the 9mm. And I looked all around, you know, to see if there was a hole from the 22 but there's not so it just didn't get through All right, let me show you guys where it stopped on the inside that small hole there um, that's actually the lead bullet from the 22 it got stuck on the inside I'm trying to hold this tire at an angle so that the Sun can reach this spot so I can show you guys but I'm in a really awkward position so I can't point it out but just that spot right there it's that piece of metal, it's just stuck in the tire on the inside, so it never got through. Alright guys, now we're shooting the solid 40 grain round out of the M&P 1522. Let's see how this goes. Alright, let's go check it out. Okay 
Okay guys, this is the entry hole this time for the 40 grain 22. Now the thing is, I looked everywhere in the back and I just couldn't find an exit hole again. But it did go through, because on the interior, here let me show you guys. See that hole right there in the rubber is where it came out? But that's on the inside of the tire. But once again, I don't see where it came through the back side of the tire like the 9mm did. So I'm thinking that maybe it went through and curved and came out the side of the tire and just disappeared because the first 22 got stuck on the other side on its way out of the back of the tire. It got stuck when it hit it. But this one, I don't even see where it hit the other side of the tire. It went through and then it just maybe flew out of the side because I don't see where it hit like that first 22 did when it got stuck. So anyways, let's step it up now. All right, here we go at the dam defense. We're just gonna shoot both of them back to back. Once again, the first one is a 223 55 grain FMJ and the second one is a 556 62 grain green tip. Let's have some fun. Well, it looks like my battery decided to die when I was shooting the down defense, but luckily I had the GoPro over here on the tire, so you guys still got to see the shots go through the tire. You just didn't let, you just didn't get to see me shoot them. But anyways, here was the first one, just normal 55 grain 223, went right through like nothing. And honestly, they both went through like nothing, so there wasn't too much of a difference, but. The 62 grain did seem to shred it up a little bit more and bring out more little pieces of metal with it. But both of them went right through like nothing. So anyways, wasn't too much of a difference. I mean the 9mm went right through both sides. The down defense, 223 and 556 both went through like nothing. Now it was from like three times the distance as the pistol but still. And both of the 22s got through the first side and I never found a hole on the back side. One of them got stuck inside and the other one I never found. 